and to fire that musket. I'm going to that's, uh, that's, see that as their weapon. I'm also going to talk to you about uh, the company commander. His weapon is the company. I'm going to show you how the company commander would use the company. Uh, the nine-step process to load these weapons. I'll just go through that now. Load it nine times. Load. Handle. Cartridge. He's going to pull a cartridge out of his cartridge box and put it to his teeth. There. Cartridge. He's in there and exposing the powder and the projectile. Dark. Cartridge. He pour the powder down and then squeeze the ball into the into the barrel with a stop. Draw. Rammer. Ram. Cartridge. Use the rammer to push it down to the bottom of the, the seat to the ball on the bottom of the barrel. Prime. going to put a small percussion cap on the cone. When the hammer comes down, it creates a spark, goes into the barrel, it ignites, and fires the weapon. Shoulder, arm. Ready. Aim. Fire. Good cover. Arm. Both. I'm going to turn the company away from you so they're not firing into you. Sure, I appreciate that. No problem. Oh. Now the men are going to load, you'll see they'll go through all those steps, but they do it much faster. They do not go through every one of those commands every time on the battlefield. It just takes too long. Good man can fire around or fire approximately three rounds in a minute. Now imagine up over the horizon an enemy is coming. And they're coming in the same formation as this, in a linear formation. The idea is to try to break up that formation and cause confusion and stop the charge. One way to do that when they're far away is to send a solid sheet of lead at the enemy do that by firing the entire company. Fire my company! Ready! Hey! Boom! Boom! What's wrong with this picture? They're all empty. One way, if the enemy is still coming, to try to keep to uh, keep half the company loaded is you can fire by rank, front rank and rear rank. You can still send a solid sheet of lead down at the enemy, and half your company is on still loaded. You still do this when there may be medium distance from you.
occasionally, if they'd been in battle for a while, you would hear that. You would hear a misfire. And oftentimes, the sergeant in the back, keeping the lines together, would have to pass his rifle forward and clear that man's weapon for him. He two foul. It's black foul, it's dirty stuff, and he would foul the musket. Thousands of these going off constantly. It's just <coughs> deafening. Now, at this point, after they fired independently for a few minutes, the enemy is still coming. You might want to send one. When they get closer, you might want to send one more sheet of lead towards them to try to break up the charge. You do that by firing another volley. firing these for several minutes or for quite or all day, the powder would begin to build up in that in the barrel and it would be harder and harder to get the to get the to load it to the new pump so fast. Fire by company. Ready. Hey. Fire. Prime. At this point they're gonna clear the weapons, make sure nobody else is, is loading. Charge, and we had the charge. We'll show you a little bit what a bayonet charge may look like. 